and uh, right now we're about to enter this building, okay? So we did a spray foam, and we're really more specifically talking about spray foam. Welcome back, pack. This is Adbill from Wolf Seal Buildings, and behind me is a 30 by 40 metal building. Should have already seen our tour. It's a video prior to this, and uh, right now we're about to enter this building, okay? So we did a spray foam, and we're really more specifically talking about spray foam, uh, the closed cell spray foam. So um, this one is painted white, so I'm super excited to show you guys how it looks. Now, you guys, this is just a phenomenal looking spray foam. So now before we go in, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. Um, a lot more educational videos coming, so stay tuned and uh, let's get this video started. So this is one inch closed cell spray foam. This is R value of seven, but it's just not the R value. What I like about this spray foam is that it's, uh, it, it gives like rigid strength to the walls. So like it, it really extra supports the panels. And we have 29 gauge panels for all our tubular buildings. So when we apply this and it's super dense, uh, it really, really like uh, tightens all the, the crevices. There's no, nothing entering. There's no air coming in and no air going out. One of the beauties of spray foam is that it really seals the building. This is the one inch spray foam. You can do two inch, which gives you R value 14, which is really, really good if you're really trying to have like a HVAC inside uh, to really control temperature inside. Like right now, we got, you know, really good temperature control here. It feels dry in here as well. Now after, on top of the paint, this is the white. So it's been painted white. Right here, it's just, uh, it's just dirt. So white is hard to keep clean, but overall, it looks really, really nice. So we do try to cover the whole trussing as well, as best as we can. 
One of the challenges with spray foam is that it's not, it's, it's craftsmanship in a way because uh, you know, you gotta spray it nicely so you don't get too much of a bubbly. So you see here, we did get a little bit of a bubbly. In small crevices, that's what gets really challenging. But when you have open crevices like this, you can see we can do phenomenal, phenomenal, nice looking spray on. So when you're speaking for a spray foam, it's not just about the price, it's also about, you know, how do you prep your, your project? Um, and also how, how, you know, how much experience do they have really spray it on? Because if you see, this is, this is just super clean. So what happens here is we spray the spray foam and it, tur it turns into yellow normally. Um, and even after a while, it turns even to more yellow you can always paint it, and paint it is afterwards. Um, there's a different types of paints, there's regular paint, there's even a no burn paint, which is a paint that comes with um, fire protection. Guys, I, 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 I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned a little bit more about this. Again, this is closed cell spray foam. Um, closed cell is applied to metal buildings, um, and it's, uh, it's one of the best, again, some people don't like the look of it. Um, I, I like it when it's done properly. When it's not done properly, it is, it is not as pretty as maybe having fiberglass or just a radiant barrier insulation. But then the, uh, I still like spray foam, how it feels like it feels really good temperature inside and it's easy to really control and, and not have any uh, insects and because it just covers all the holes of your ridges so that's just my thoughts my opinion i hope you enjoyed this video guys i'll see you guys in the next one